Hello everyone, my name is Vaishnavi and this is my channel Ada Code. Today I am going to show you how to configure your system for running a C++ and a C program in your Visual Studio code. For that we will begin with creating a folder where we will store our C++ as well as C programs. Uh, here I am creating a folder named C++. I will simply open it with Visual Studio Code. As you can see, our Visual Studio Code has been opened. Now I will create a, a new file with the name as d1.cpp. .cpp extension is used for C++ programs. Here I have simply pasted a C++ program which will print hello world. Here is the statement which will print hello world. Now we will simply click on run button and as you can see here uh, it is giving an error that G++ is not recognized as an internal or external command. For that we will require to install mingw. Here this link uh, I will simply give it in the description box. You can copy from there and paste it on your favorite browser. Here, uh, as you can see, before we uh, we were using MinGW W64 builds, but now it is uh, no more available. So we will go with uh, MSY2. Scroll down on the same page, and you can see here that we are having an installation link uh, from GitHub. Click on it, and you will be redirected on this one page. Now you can scroll down and here you can see the executable file, click on it and it, it will start downloading. It might take some time, we we'll wait for that. As you can see the download has been completed. We will simply do, open that folder, uh, right click on the executable file, run as administrator. Now the installation window is here, click on next. Uh, here is the directory where that uh, msys2 will be installed. I will simply keep it as it is and click on next. Most of the times uh, keep it as it is. So you will not create confusion for yourself. Now simply uh, click on that uh, run msw bit now. Click OK. Here you can see that the terminal has been opened. Now we have to input some of the commands. Type pacman hyphen syu and hit enter. And you can see that the packages has been started for synchronizing. Simply click on yes for your installation and it will begin. Don't think about that errors whatever they are coming in front of you. It will be solved by itself only. As you can see it has been updated. Click on yes. Now we will type a command pacman dash su. It will update the terminal. Now click on yy. It will download all the required files so remember to keep your internet on while downloading it. Now the third command is pacman dash s s gcc. So here it will show you that uh, what kind of uh, libraries can be downloaded for gcc. Here you have to search for 32-bit uh, also and 64-bit also it is available. Uh, in the mingw32 section here you can see that mingw-w64 is given. Uh, this is used for 32-bit uh, operating system. And for 64-bit you have to search in, in the mingw64 options. And we just require C++, C++ so just add that one uh, simply click uh, right click on it copy 
and paste it if it is not getting paste then i'll uh, share the commands in the description box you can copy from them pacman dash s and paste that command and hit enter now click y enter here you can see all the required gcc libraries are being downloaded so remember to keep your internet on Our GCC is done. Now we will go with another library. Type pacman dash ss and type gdb. Here, same thing is here also. For 32 bit is different and 64 bit is different. We have to go with uh, 64 bit. Copy from there or I'll put it in the description box. You can copy from there also. Type pacman dash s and paste it. Hit enter and it will start installing its libraries and packages. Now click S Y and hit enter for your installation. Don't worry about that errors, whatever are going on. It will do everything by itself. Here our installation is done. Now we have to check whether it is installed properly or not. For that go in your all programs and search for msys2 64 bit and maximize it and that blue icon you have to open. Now that terminal will be open. Here you have to simply type some commands that is gdb hyphen hyphen version and it will give you the version details if it is installed properly as you can see our version is installed properly now next is gcc hyphen hyphen version and hit enter our gcc also has been installed properly now next is g plus plus hyphen hyphen version hit enter and our g plus plus library is also installed properly I will give all that commands in the description box. You have to just simply copy from there and paste on your terminals. Now we will check whether our in our CMD that is our command prompt it is uh, visible that it is installed or not. Open your command prompt and type gdb hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. As you can see it is showing that gdb is not recognized. Till now we have just installed it but we have not given the path for that file where it is installed. So our computer doesn't know where it is installed. Therefore it is giving that error. For that now go in your uh, this PC, open C drive and here search for msys64 bit folder, open it. Again, minjw 64 bit, open it. Now next is bin. Open it and copy its path. Now we have to paste this path in your environment variables. For that, search for environment, edit the system environment variable, open it. Go to the environment variable option. Now in the system variables, click on path, edit it. Now we have to create a new and paste the path over here. And simply click on OK. Now we have shown the path for that install libraries to our PC. Now we will again check whether it is visible or not. Open your command prompt and type gdb-version. 
and hit enter now here you can see that our gdb library has been installed and it is visible and it is known to our system so now we will check about gcc same command is there gcc hyphen hyphen version here you can see our gcc library is also visible so next is g plus plus hyphen hyphen version here you can see our g plus plus library is also installed properly so now we are good to go uh, to run our c plus plus and c programs in our system now we will go back to our visual studio code and again hit that uh, run button but here you can see same thing is coming again that g plus plus is not recognized so we will do some settings with our visual studio cause it is uh, again repeating everything now search for code runner in settings now we will check this box for clear previous outputs and one more thing we have to enable that we have to run our programs in the terminal for that check this box also now we will go back to our program again click on run button it will take some time for the first time here you can see that it is again giving a error because the uh, our, our program just has a c++ extension file we need a executable file to be run for that we have to put a command type g++ d1 and click on tab and it will extend everything and hit enter as you can see here our executable file is ready again type a and click tab and hit enter and when you will hit enter it will show you our program running here as you can see our hello world is printed now whenever you will click click the run button next time it will simply run by itself you don't have to put that commands again and again only one time you have to do it while configuring your visual studio next time it will do it by itself so here our c++ program has been run successfully i hope you like the video if you do and if it is helpful for you please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you